Hi friends, failures and success, trials and tribulations, ups and downs, who has not faced them? Here I am today sharing with you all incident of my life which brought me to the peak of my career. It all happened in 1979 when a palmist landed at my house. My father asked all the three siblings to show their hands to him to decide what was in store for us. And yes, the verdict on seeing my hand was, she cannot pursue education, she has no lines on education. For me, it was not something surprising, but for my dad, it was the verdict of his life. He stopped my education after 10th, saying that I need not pursue further and I could be better a housewife. After two years of convincing, I finally succeeded in getting my mom convinced, never mind though it was distance education. I pursued my 11th and 12th standard online education and succeeded. My father got me up married at a very early age so that further he need not spend on my education. It was okay with me because I got a life partner, a partner who was there to fulfill my dreams. I began with my BA immediately after my exams and completed my BA with success. I got into a small school in Nala Sopara to begin my career as a teacher, a profession which I was very passionate about after seeing my mom, a school teacher in Vivek Vidyalay. I continued my studies, completed my B.Ed with the motivation of my principal, Mr. B.M. Dakwe. After that, the college in the school started and there was dearth for a teacher. Yes, Lata was there to fulfill the gap. I pursued my MA in history, MA in political science, and fulfilled the gap. In spite of all this, I was still not satisfied with my success. I moved on to MA in education, which at that time was the need for principals. I joined as principal of a Hindi medium aided school at Mallard in Mumbai, KG Sekseria Sarvode school, which I head till today. Moving on, I wanted to do my MPhil in history. I succeeded in that too. A doctorate was one such passionate dream of my mom. Every time I took my results of a success, she would tell me, why don't you add a doctor to your degree? And yes, I pursued it. I did my doctorate on a very passionate subject, challenges faced by aided schools in imparting quality education, as I could experience it every day of my life right from 2007. The success story didn't end then. We had to do a diploma in school management, which was a compulsion by the education department for principals of all aided schools, which I pursued later. In spite of all this, I have still not stopped. I am a passionate learner. Every day is a new learning for me. I completed my English diploma from Tilak Maharashtra University. I completed my Sanskrit diploma from Tilak Maharashtra and I would still be ready to learn any foreign language. That's my next dream. Dear friends, sharing all this is not just to flirt my feathers, but to instill in you a confidence that a palmist or an astrologer cannot decide your destiny. Even a person without hands has a wonderful career. Why not? If you are determined, if you have willpower, and if you have the courage to forego the challenges that you face, nothing in the world can stop you. So my friends, just be passionate. Follow your passion and you will reach the peak. Thank you.